Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Too Much Tech and in today's video, we are gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Dell 38 inch ultra wide. Just to give you guys some specs on this monitor really quick so we can kind of put this monitor in the right state of mind. This one is not really gonna be a gaming monitor at all, largely because the response time is pretty bad. So I would not recommend gaming on it at all. This is gonna be more so of a productivity monitor where you feel like you need a lot of screen space to do anything that you need to do, having a lot of windows open at one time, or if you're really into content creation, this is an excellent monitor for content creation. This monitor is curved, it's IPS, it's 38 inches big, and the resolution is 3840 by 1600, and it runs at 60 hertz. It is a 21 by nine aspect ratio, but it's a little bit bigger than most of your normal 34 inch 1440p ultra wise. This one does share the same resolution and pixel density as a typical 1440p monitor, but obviously it's just extended and it's a little bit taller than most other 1440p monitors because it's running at 1600p. So you're not quite at 4k and you're not getting more pixels per inch. It's just you're getting a little bit more resolution. So you will still match resolutions nicely with another 1440p monitor. You'll just notice that this one is, like I said, a little bit taller. You do have some really nice port selection selection on this monitor too. So you have two HDMI, a display port, USB-C, as well as four USB ports. So you can connect a ton of devices to this monitor all at once. And you really can use this thing as like your end all be all for monitors. Now, since this monitor is a little bit older, I believe it came out in 2017 or 18, it doesn't have like a lot of modern features. So it doesn't have HDR or a super crazy full array LED backlight, but at a thousand dollars, is this monitor still worth it today in 2020? Uh, I would say that's a little bit of a mixed bag because at $1,000, you can almost get the like faux HDR monitors that are a lot brighter. But what I will say is that what you won't get, especially if you're getting a smaller monitor, I don't really know if it's worth it because for a thousand bucks at 38 inches, this is probably gonna be one of the better ones that you're gonna find. Of course, you know, you can always find like another one like an LG or whatever. One thing I will say is that this one comes with a three year warranty through Dell. With this monitor being the really crazy productivity monitor that it is, is it still worth using in 2020? I would definitely say so. You can use this for color accurate work, video editing, photo editing. If you like to trade stocks during the day, you can use it for that too. If you like to have a lot of windows up all at once, or if you're just a really heavy multitasker and you need to have three windows up in full screen all at once, all the time, this is gonna be a really good monitor for you, especially if you just wanna simplify your setup and you don't wanna have, you know, three or five monitor setups and all that good stuff. If you just want one big ultra wide with a ton of resolution that's sharp, has good color and decent brightness, for around a thousand bucks, this one is a really good option. And I would definitely look into it a little bit further if you're interested. I didn't really mean for this to be like a full review, but I have been using this for the past few months and I have really enjoyed my time using it. Like I said, this one is a 38 inch monitor. So it is a little bit on the bigger side. So you gotta make sure that your desk has the space for it because it is pretty massive. But with having that massive footprint, you do get a lot of screen real estate that you're able to use and take advantage of. But all right, you guys, that is gonna be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new. Thanks again for tuning in to Too Much Tech, and I will catch you guys in the next video.